First off, I want to thank the uh, brave men and women who work behind the wall. I want to thank them on a national level because their job goes on How do they try to turn a guard? Well, President, uh, Correctional Officer, sorry, I apologize. Uh, but Correctional Officer. Uh... Hey, I'm Brian Kovacs from Tier Talk, and I'm here at the Mock Prison Riot 2019. We're talking to straight armored vehicles group that has got a new fast attack vehicle for SWAT teams and correctional facilities. Luis is here to explain it to us. Can you give us some more information? Hello. Uh, yes, my name is Luis, uh, sales manager for Straight Manufacturing in Canada. We're here right now proudly uh, introducing this uh, beautiful fast response SWAT vehicle. It's fully armored and we listen obviously for the uh, law enforcement uh, uh, officials that they want two things. They want something agile that is full protected and obviously that is affordable. So this is what we do here in West Virginia. Sounds great. Well, let's check it out. Let's see what, what kind of features it has. Yes. Excellent. So one of the cool features about this vehicle basically is it's a it's a NIJ3 level protection. Basically has all the certification done for blast protection as well and kinetics. So not only has uh, uh, the withstand for uh, about the 308 or 762 by 51 uh, uh, softcore, uh, but it has a very high a mobility in, in this vehicle. The interior of this vehicle is flexible. It can be retrofitted for transport, uh, uh, prisoner transport. Also, it can be for SWAT use. Here, obviously, we have the 44, 40, 42 millimeter uh, glass, and this vehicle is uh, based in a Toyota Tundra. We listen to the customer specifications, and we choose the Tundra because it's affordable, it's reliable, it's a strong, it's a great vehicle that actually it can hold this vehicle. The strong features of our vehicle is our vehicle is just one complete hole. It's not based on, on, on just uh, front segments. So the front end is fully armored as well. talking with the Bureau of Prisons Lieutenant about his ride in the street vehicle that we had here at the Mock Prison Riot. He got to drive it right into the scenario. What were your opinions of the vehicle and how it handled? The overall handling and the performance, it's got a lot of power and it worked well for our scenario. And how was the ease of use getting in and out of the vehicle for your men? It was very useful for the evac portion of our scenario. My staff and team members were well aware that we could load them up. Very good. Would you like to use such a vehicle? Outstanding. Go to talkinguns.net where there'll be a full review of their vehicle and more information about their other stuff that they offer. Talkinguns.net. Thank you. Thank you.